mercy found me. Your mercy pulled me. Your mercy grabbed me. Your mercy chased me. Your mercy called me. Your mercy yanked me. Your mercy pulled me. Your mercy is calling my yeah. name. Your mercy called me. Your mercy blocked yeah. me. Out. Your mercy pulled me. Your mercy set my feet on the rock to stand. evening to come to this place to to, to 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 meet at your feet and to learn at your feet thank you because you are a god that never runs out of words for us you are a god that never runs out of directions you are a god that never runs out of instructions for us father we give you praise we give you praise we give you praise we give you praise because every moment we come and spend in his moment in his in his presence is always a new moment no two moment is the same anytime we come before him uh, is always a brand new encounter oh father we give you praise we give you praise we adore you come on lift up your voice and thank the lord for touch bearers ministries international thank him for what he is making us do in his agenda in this generation thank him for what he is making us do in his agenda in this generation thank him because our uh, torch bearers is not is not out of sync with what he is doing in this season thank you because torch bearers is not out of line in what he is doing in this season thank him because torch bearers is in sync uh, with all he is doing in this generation i also want you to lift up your voice and bless his name because torch bearers is in sync in what is about to do in the next generation thank him because our relevance will not only end in this generation but in the coming generation we are relevant in the move of god come and lift up your voice and say thank you jesus because touch bearers is a transgenerational ministry thank you because this ministry is 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 being built to at last us to to at last to at last everyone is going to last the jesus come for every move of god till he comes thank you because touch bearers ministry will be relevant in the moves oh father we thank you because our relevance will not be momentary because the relevance of touch bearers is not momentary it is not momentary it is not for one year it is not for three years but it is transgenerational it is transgenerational father we give you praise father we exalt you thank you for touch whereas ministries lord we give you praise we adore you we adore you come on come on come on i want you to prepare your heart for the word that is coming tonight begin to speak in the in the holy ghost as you prepare to receive i don't know how big is the is the is the is the container you brought this night i don't know if you have brought a pipe or you have brought a cup whichever you have brought i want you to begin to speak now and tell your container to read itself for the rushing wind of the word of god that is coming to us this evening come on come on come on come on come on 
begin to tell it to God, Lord, I am ready for you. I am ready for you, God. I am ready for you, God. I am ready for you, God. I come against anything I want to distract me this night. Lord, I set my gaze on you this night. Speak to me this night. Speak to me this night. Speak to me this night. I need direction in this area. Lord, give me direction. If you are, if you are looking for direction in a particular area, this is the moment to prepare your heart to receive it. Tell it to God, Lord, this night I receive direction to this matter. This direction, this, this, this confusion must end tonight because your word will direct me. Because his word is a light onto our path. It's going to light your path this evening. Come on, speak to him. Speak to him. We have been rightly taught by our grandmother that when we speak in the Holy Ghost, we are speaking to the Lord. Yes, we are speaking to the Lord. Whatever it is you have come, whatever burden you have brought to him this night, he is more than able, he is more than able to, to meet every matter you have brought tonight. He is more than able to do beyond, exceedingly above all that is confusing us at this moment uh, of our life. Uh, so therefore, I want you to begin to speak to God uh, and let him step in tonight and speak to you and give you direction and help you uh, and help you. Come on, speak in the Holy Ghost. Uh, speak to God. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Uh, speak in mystery. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Rekotozo galeza. Maze grondo zogadesha. Lekana mazonde kiridizinde. Rekande zugarande kelebosha. Lekana mazande we are not leaving this place the same we came rekoto sokoto lende kaya lekana mana kaya galesha lekono kozo godo godosha lekele kede bosha lemradoso lekenezo kari keleza mazagadaya karabadasha lekozo kori kada kaleka lezugrendeza lagadasha nde kalekondeze lekene menesha kaleza le Rende kene meshente le kozo goro godo godo goi le kana mana mashante le kana mazogelia la gede zugrid le kono zonde kiri karia la kana mazagada bagada bagada bada. Father, we give you praise tonight. Father, we thank you tonight. Oh, Father, we give you praise because you are said to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ever imagine tonight. Oh, Father, we thank you. 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 Rekoto shetali kalebo zugelika rika zonde. Oh, we give you praise tonight. Oh, be lifted up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want to just raise your hands on to Jesus and just worship him this evening. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ijile ninu ijile Eshe uo Ijile ninu ijile Eshe uo Ijinle ninu ijinle 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 Eshe uo Anomi soro Eshe uo Onimi soro Eshe uo Ola mi asoro Eshe uo Ijinle ninu ijinle Eshe uo Motira nugao Motiro gogba 
Alléluia. Alléluia. Come on, raise your hands unto Jesus. Moti rogolo. Moti kore dele. Alléluia. Alléluia. Moti ranulo. Moti rigre gamu. Alléluia. Alléluia. Moti ranuba. Moti rire gbae. Alléluia. Alléluia. Moti ranuba. Moti rogolo. Alléluia. Alléluia. Orebi Jesu. Kosi la ye yi. Jesu ni kolore o tito. Ore a ye yi le kwa si le. Shugon Jesu ko jeg bag be mi. Ko jeg bag be mi o. A ko jeg bag be mi. Ore o tito a ko jeg bag be mi. Alleluia, Shubon Jesus, Ko Jeg Bag, O Ko Jeg Bag Be Mi O A, Ko Jeg Bag Be Mi, Ore O Ti To A, Ko Jeg Bag Be Mi, Alleluia. Shubod Jesu ko jeg bag be mi to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. To see you all shining, yeah, in the light of your glory. Pour out your, out your power, hello, as we sing holy, holy. Hey, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Oh, you are the pillar that holds my life. Oh, you are the pillar that holds my life. Oh, Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar, the pillar that holds. Hey, you are the pillar. That holds my life, Master Jesus. You are the pillar that holds my life, Master Jesus. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds 
my life master jesus you are the pillar that holds my life master jesus you are the pillar that holds my life master jesus you are the pillar that holds my life Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to me your presence your presence your presence is heaven to me lord yeah to me oh your presence lord Is heaven to me. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. God. Are we excited to be in the house of the Lord this evening? We'll be taking our confession of faith now, and I want us to take it with conviction. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now I want us to repeat after me. Thank you, Lord God, for counting me worthy to be a partaker of the inheritance of the saints in light. Thank you for daily loading me with benefits. I acknowledge the receipt of benefits today. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord God. Because I am a torch bearer. Is someone grateful? Thank you, Lord God. Because I am a torch bearer. I am always safe, preserved, exempted from evil, and singled out for favor. Thank you for the covenant possibilities in this mandate. Thank you for wealth, marital bliss, excellence, health, favor, safety, and very deep prophetic ability available to all church bearers. Glory to God forevermore. Let's pray in tongues for one minute. I'm not feeling the energy. Open your mouth and pray in tongues. These are not mere words. They are confessions. They are meant to be said with conviction. Open your mouth and pray in tongues. Igado siketele ko shagada bado sikete ragada bada 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 bado sha ibraku tali ketele ko siketele ko sha ragada bada 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 bado sikete raku tali ketele ko siketele ko sikete rakata la ko siketele ko sikete ibraku tali ketele ko sikete Hallelujah. I call for touch bearers. I call for touch bearers all over the world to find their spiritual family and to come home. I declare and decree that men come from all nations, all tribes, and every place saying I am a touch bearer because of the glorious testimonies they see in and through me. In every place, every time, I am emotionally stable. Say it again with conviction. I am emotionally stable. Financially stable. Spiritually mature. And healthy all around. By the workings of God's spirit in me. I am very aware. Of the indwelling presence of God. That I carry. And what he can achieve. I give expression to the things of the Spirit with ease. And I make God proud always. In Jesus' name. I am kingdom. Are you sure about that? I am kingdom. I am kingdom. Kingdom in giving. Kingdom in conduct. Kingdom in speech. Kingdom in thinking. The gospel is priority to me. I preach the gospel. I give to the gospel. I disciple men always in Jesus name many doors are open to me 
of opportunities, of favor, major miracles in Jesus' name. I flourish in famine. I sow in famine and reap a hundredfold, and reap a hundredfold, and reap a hundredfold in Jesus' name. I am covenant compliant in Jesus' name. We declare over Nigeria that the will of God will prevail. We raise today an altar over the nations. We declare so mightily grows the word of God and prevail. We declare that the nations of the world are open to us. In Jesus' name, I declare that the word of God, as the word of God comes today, my word comes. Are we expectant? Say, my word comes. My season is interpreted with accuracy. I hear and I respond promptly in Jesus' name. I rejoice because the word of God is about to come in Jesus' name. We are touch bearers nation. We are touch bearers nation. We are what? What are we? We are prophecy inclined and assignment conscious. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate the SMR. Hallelujah. Glory to God. First of all, I want to sincerely appreciate my father and my mother and the Lord for the grace and for the opportunity to minister to God's people this evening. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, Ma. I do not take it for granted. Hallelujah. All right. It's another time for Bible study. And what do we do in Bible study? We are edified and we get to understand what the scripture has said about us. But before we dive into the word, I want us to take this song. The God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Jehovah, you are the man of war. Your mercies and your
Emi la toke wa In every baba wa Rain a kale Jake jado wa ye Olu tunu Zide Kalabashi kabayi katelege de viatali karabashai Ekembra tiva ni kalibra diga dege debra na masi kalibra hai tiki dibia Antele masa talama na karabasha tiga daga yaga daba laga dosa I just want to give us two minutes to lay expectations and to prepare our heart this evening Ekida bande ketele goroba shika laba yaga de Alaka tina ba shika talaga dosa Ekembra tikele boloko shika balaga daga daba laga dosa Manti kalaba shandele gedosa akabala katia emi mima eche o emi awa woli eyi kuku la barawa emi mima eche emi mima eche o emi awa woli eyi kuku la barawa emi mima eche awa kibe. I will feel for Lord in Bala. Oh Lord, in Jotaro, the Ayola will have one. I will give a feel for Lord in Bala. of your word again this evening and we ask that by the reason of your word and your spirit here we are changed are set, are set on fire again and altars are set on fire again in Jesus name have we prayed hallelujah shall we have our seats alright so this evening I'm, um, I'm privileged to stand before God's people this evening to deliver the word of God and um, if I would title this message, I will title it Faith in Prayers. Uh, we are currently considering the faith series, and we are considering our father Abraham. And from that series, we are going to be exploring faith in prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I will do my job well this evening, it will be that we understand that Prayer is not just an activity. Hallelujah. So faith, we've had a um, lot of teachings by our Father on faith. We've also had a series of prayers, of teachings about prayers. Our Father has taught us and our mother has taught us correctly in this house. We are, taught, we are being taught correctly in this house about faith, about the principles of a Christian, which includes faith and prayers. Hallelujah. So what the first thing I would like to say is that prayer is an expression of faith in God. Prayer is an expression of faith in God. 
a man that will pray, will pray because he has the belief that there is a supreme being that is beyond him that can give answers to his heart desires. That is first to understand because if I don't feel like there is a God, there is an higher person that can do something, then there's really no point for me to go and ask. Because what we are doing, one thing we are doing in prayer is asking. So the reason why I will go to my father is because I know he has the ability to give whatever it is that I need. Because I know the reason why we run to our spiritual, our physical, our biological parents is because we know that they've gone ahead of us. There's, part, there's an experience that they can share with us because we believe that they have a better understanding. And so when we pray, it is because we have faith in God. It is an expression of faith. Hallelujah. There's this example that our Papa always shares with us that a man like um, I have somebody needs five million and somebody already comes to testify that oh this rich man here can give you five million because he just gave me ten million and because of that well, I hope I'm not moving ahead but we we'll still come back to that analogy because it really expresses something that the Lord was showing me in the course of preparation. The reason you will pray is because of your knowledge of the reality of the existence of a supreme God who can answer your prayers and grant you requ your request. In the place of prayer, you ride in faith. And when I, when I say ride in faith, when we start prayers, I, I won't say that it is religion that we start with prayer of thanksgiving. Because I came to understand in the course of this preparation that when we pray prayer of thanksgiving we are literally building up our faith because the prayer of thanksgiving you are telling God oh thank you for protection thank you for mercy thank you for provision thank you for this thank you for that because we know that it can do more it is helping us to build our faith acknowledging that which you have received first to God and so when you have literally acknowledged the abilities, the things that God has done in the past. It makes it easy for your faith to rise and say that, God, I know that you will come through again. Hallelujah. So we are riding in faith in prayers. We ride in faith in prayers. We ride in faith in prayers. But it's so amazing and it's not so amazing that we get tired in the place of prayers. And then I begin to wonder why. I begin to wonder why. But before we go into that, like Papa will always say, I'm going to refer to Papa a lot and to his messages a lot. So like Papa will always say, it's a sign of pride that you will not pray. Prayerlessness is a sign of pride because that feels like, oh, you, you have it all figured out. And who are you to have it all figured out? You have it all figured out with your own understanding. But we know that you are, you are present in this place. You are not present outside. You don't know what can befall you outside. You don't know, like my boss at work, we always say, where the major decisions of your life will be made, you won't be there. But there is a person that will be there. And that is God. And it's the one that can direct the decisions of even unbelievers. So if you are going to say you have it all figured out with your own wisdom, trust me, you will not go far in life. A man that will go far, that will indeed fulfill purpose, is a man of prayer. Hallelujah. A man that will go far, that will fulfill purpose, will have to be a man of prayer. When they are counting criteria, prayer, mark, faith, mark. Because there is no how a man wants to live a life without faith in God. There is no how you want to live a life without prayers. And it is because you have faith that you'll be pushed to the place of prayers. So oftentimes when we see that men are growing weary in prayers, Let's also check their faith level. It might be because there, there's something that has dropped in their belief in God. 
men don't just become atheists. It is because of a, a certain circumstance. If you reach out to a lot of people that now say, oh, I don't believe in God, or I, I, I can't pray, it is, probably, it is because they have believed a life, one, and number two, oftentimes it's because they had a situation in which they felt they prayed, but God did not come through. But that's a lie. God always comes through. God is faithful and he is just. So God always comes through. But we forget the part of instructions. Hallelujah. When we pray, what do we do in the place of prayer? We are, also, we are praying to receive instructions. But oftentimes, we, I, I found that, that we pray just to let our desires known unto God and we don't wait for the answers. Hallelujah. But before we go there, um, I want to use an illustration of, okay, James chapter 5, verse 13 to 14. That scripture I was talking about, faith and then I would also like to liken it to the point of prayers. It's very easy for believers to pray, actually. We have believers that pray. Okay. James chapter 5, verse 13 to 14 first. You will see that in this place, they said, Is any among you in trouble? Let them pray. Is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Is any among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. You will see that from this passage, there is nothing you want to do that prayer does not answer to. Everything you are sick, oh, pray. There is also a place of prayer of thanksgiving. You are very happy, oh, in a dunga. You will still pray. You are sad, pray. You are sick, pray. You are weary, pray. Everything is working out well, pray. God at no point left us prayerless. If that English is correct. There is no point in which we are not expected to pray. Pray without ceasing. Hallelujah. At no point, they say never to be caught on fresh. Never to be caught, not pray. Hallelujah. At every time, there is always a time, a type of prayer for you to pray. And if you look at the life of David, King David, he was a man of prayer. Small thing like this, they are troubling me. David has prayed. Small thing like this is giving thanks. He is consistently praying. Consistently praying. Even when uh, the, the son from his place of adultery when he was sick, he was praying, he was praying, he was praying for mercy. Even though he knew, he, he knew that he did wrong, there was still a prayer, but oftentimes we run the way where we are supposed to pray the prayer of mercy. When we're falling short, that is not the right time for you to run away and hide your face from God. It is the time for you to pray for mercy. It is because your strength is not enough and you need God to strengthen you against it. Prayer is always the answer. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we thank you. Just like it is easy for a man to forget. Okay, so uh, we've observed that if you do good and then you do something wrong, it is easy for a man to hold on to that wrong that you've done and forget the good things. I feel like many believers, that is how we are. Butter and bread Christians. So because you wanted a promotion at your place of work and you did not get it at that moment, you feel God is not faithful. Whereas you've forgotten the time that you got double promotion. God is ever faithful. Can we say that with me? God is ever faithful. Men often get weary in the place of prayer because of lack of faith. Often. And 
they think that they are not getting the answers to their to their prayers because they have not they are afraid and there's no results. They are afraid there's no results. But I want us to read the scripture, James chapter one, verse twenty four. James one twenty four. It was talking about um, when a man looks at himself in the mirror and then he goes out and then he forget what kind of what, what manner of man he is. And I feel that is what believers actually do. We go into the place of prayer. We are afraid for 15 hours. And then you come out. And then maybe a news. It might not even be a news. It might just be someone talking about, ah, she didn't even just be good. And then you, you use that same mouth. And you say, Ninja cannot be good. And you have forgotten the promise that you received in the place of prayer. And then you have forgotten what the scripture says that when there's a casting and there's always a lifting up, we forget the promises of God. And that is one reason why we feel that prayer is not working. It is very easy for believers to forget. We don't hold on to the promises of God. And even when there's a prophecy upon us, we don't wage war with these words. We are only expecting a miracle. Hallelujah. When you go into the place of prayer and you receive the instructions, what do you do with them? When you receive these instructions, do you forget them? Do you note them? Down? Papa always says, if any of us open our prayer book, our prophecy book, you will see our answers there. But we have prayed and then we go out to confess negativity. We have prayed and then we don't hold on to the promises. And then we feel like it's not working. No, you are the one that needs to check yourself. Oftentimes, I, 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 I've come to realize that, yes, maybe because a situation happened, you're afraid, you're afraid, you're afraid, and you seem not to have gotten results. Is it, that's not the time for you to stop praying. This is the time for you to push more. I'm going to use an analogy. There, okay, let's say we are trying to push this now. And we've been pushing, we've been pushing from here, we've been pushing from here, and it's up to here, and it's almost getting done. And then you get weary at this point. And then you come and say God is not faithful. But you've forgotten the fact that you were pushing from a place and you've gotten to this point. You are almost eating the gosha. But then you forgot that you need to just push a little more. And that is what we do when we tarry in prayers. We tarry in prayer until we have received our results. We don't tarry in prayer and say, Ah, shebi mo kukuti badra. We tarry and we keep pressing and we keep praying until we have received the answers. And I want us to have that consciousness that God is not a man that he will lie. God does not fail. It is important that we have that faith and we have that understanding that God does not fail. And that is what we help you. That, that, that's one thing that will strengthen your prayers. If we, look, if, we, if we ask everybody, we did that some Sundays ago, times that you've seen God show up for you. And yes, everybody was able to testify. So why then do we feel that we don't need to pray again? Because this certain situation, why, why then do we give up on this situation? It is easy for us to believe physical activities than to believe spiritual activities. That's what I've seen. When we tell someone to use a certain drug and you'll be healed, it is easier for that person to believe in the drug than to believe that it can be supernaturally healed. And that is not the kind of Christianity that Christ came to die for. Yes, we appreciate medicine. And God is working through them. But yes, there's a supreme being that can tell you that you are healed now. And you should believe it. 
You should not believe that it is until you use a certain drug before you will receive your healing. You should not believe that it is until you have used leg before you receive that thing. You should believe that there is a man who sits in heaven and rules the earth. I've seen men, we try to help ourselves. We claim that we pray, yes. But oftentimes, we still try to say, ah, in case, tell you about, oh, je, tell you about that, je, I will use this place. But God wants you to totally depend on him. God wants a generation that totally depends on him. Hallelujah. And one thing is, we cannot please God without faith too. I hope we know. Because it is the faith that will make you obedient. If you say, I, I obey the Lord, I obey the Lord, and you don't live in faith, it's not complete. Because there's no way you want to obey without trusting God. It is your trust in God that will bring you to obedience. Small instruction like this. Ah, wow. Many of us are already thinking of physical ways or we are thinking of our own human way to resolve issues. Whereas God is saying, just trust me. Just lean on me. Trust me, lean on me. Trust me, lean on me. And I was talking about the point of the place of instructions. But it's it's, it's also important to note that some of us don't even get to the point of instruction before we leave the place of prayers. We pray, and then we don't wait to get the instruction, and then we feel like we have prayed. Instructions are very important in the place of prayer. Because that is what literally tells you what to do. It's just like if I give you a task... Or we had a, we, you want to write an exam and there's no instruction. And you answer all. Whereas you have wasted time. And you have wasted efforts. When you, you were ask, actually supposed to probably just answer one question. But you answered all. Because you did not read the instruction. Or you answered the wrong question. Number one is compulsory. But you did not do number one. You went to do number five. Because you did not read the instruction. So in the place of prayer, you cannot neglect instructions. One way you know that you are eating it right is when the instructions drop. If you have not gotten the instruction, don't move on. Don't move on. I have times like that, I'll be like, ah, maybe the instruction will come later when I'm doing something. Or when I move to another prayer point, the instruction will come. And I never go back. And then you are, you are just literally stuck there because you don't know what to do. You feel like you are afraid, but you did not receive the instructions. And the instruction also holds the promise. Abraham would not have received the promise if he did not move out of his father's house. That was the instruction for the promise. It was when he moved out, he started receiving the promise upon promise upon promise. He received the covenant. Circumcise your firstborn. Your, first, your sons in the first king, there was always an instruction that brought the promise closer to him. And oftentimes, we also feel like one instruction is enough. We need to stay aligned at every point. Instructions upon instructions, precept upon precept, that is what the scripture says. But we receive one and we feel like that one should be enough. It should do the job. And then we move on with our own understanding to balance up. That is not what God has called us to be. God has called us to be men of prayers with strong faith in him that God always answers prayers. God always answers prayers. Hebrews 11 verse 11 b Hebrews 11 verse 11 b I want to read something about the faith of Sarah 
I would like to read from my scripture because it literally struck me from there. And it says, um, So Sarah too had faith, and because of this, she was able to become a mother in spite of her old age. For she realized that God, who gave her his promise, would certainly do what he said. He realized. That's what they use here. She realized that God who gave her his promise would certainly do what he said. And that kept pushing her and pushing her. Even at the point when she laughed and she almost felt like, how would this become of me? She still did not go off faith. She still did not go off faith. And she kept pushing. She kept pushing. Hallelujah. If I would do my assignment right here, it would be that these words will push us into prayers. That we would not give up on that situation. That even when we think that that woman is too old to conceive, she can still conceive. Even when we feel like, ah, I've been having these pains for years, I can still be healed. That we believe the unbelievable. That we believe that at my age, I can do what people of 40 years, people of 60 years did at their old age. I can, do, I can have those achievements at my young age. I don't have to be 70 before I build my first house. And that's one thing that Papa is pushing us into this year. We are going big. And if we are going to do that, we are going to stay in faith and we are going to pray. Because this year we are breaking <laughs> we are breaking boundaries. We are breaking limitations. We are going deep into the supernatural. We are going to be called that church of the young rich people. Woo! What God has in stock for us, trust me, it is only our faith. We are the only ones that can limit him. And we will not limit him. So because of that, we are going to rise in faith. And we are going to rise in prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to be called men of prayers. Men of strong faith. I'm just charging us this evening. God has the Lord in stock for us. And because of our faith in him, we are going to receive the promise. We will not be the ones that... <laughs> no, we are not going to limit God. We are going to stand strong in our faith and in prayer until we have received the promise. We are going to obey every instruction that comes to us. We are going, this season is going to open up to us. And we are still going to have an inflow. But you have to stay in the place of prayers. You have to stay in the place of receiving the instructions that God has set forth for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we rise to our feet as we pray and receive our Father in the Lord? Father, my faith is built up in you. My faith is built up in you. In the name of Jesus, my faith is built up in you. I stand in the place of prayer. I stand in the place of prayer. I stand in the place of prayer. I stand in the I stand in the place of prayer. I am not weak. I am strengthened. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. Don't stop in jesus name we are still praying all right please sit briefly that was a profound one it was a profound one all right the lord asked me as i was coming up he said do you believe that i am strong enough in your weakness 
He said, do you believe? He said, why then do you give your weaknesses as an excuse not to obey? Look at it. A believer speaks this way. They said, I am not qualified. That's why there's prayer. If you can be qualified for everything, you won't need prayer. If everything is calculatable, then prayer is a waste. At that point where you cannot wrap your head around it, that's what faith is designed for. So is it not funny that we get to the very point faith is designed for and we give the reason faith is supposed to undo? All right. They said they are not admitting yet. They said they are not recruiting yet. Are you seeing what you are saying? Who told you it is when they declare vacancy that you will enter? Why not declare the vacancy? The day we realize faith is designed for the impossible, our lives will change. I want to ask you a question because we are going to pray. What is it that is impossible in your life presently? That's where faith is needed. She said very significant things that I would like to reiterate. And then we will pray from there. I, I, I mean, let me say this. If it be you, tell, tell your neighbor. Say in the name of Jesus. It will soon be you. Oh, someone is not speaking well. If your neighbor is not speaking well, he doesn't deserve an orarium. If you deserve an orarium, preach well. All right? Say in the name of Jesus. It will soon be you. All right? There are things that are proof that I am a disciple. Let me tell you something. This my daughter prophesied all true. If you heard her. From start to finish, she prophesied. I know prophecy is, is the place I dwell. I know prophecy. Even if you pretend not to prophesy and you are prophesying, I will catch you because you are speaking from our realm. Let me show you why I said that. All right? She began by saying, prayer is an expression of faith in God. Genesis 18. Let's see the prayer of Abraham. <laughs> I, I don't intend to please KJV, anybody that will project for me KJV, you must accept your pastor that way for now, alright one day Archbishop Pensy Dauza was ministering and they gave him maybe NIV on NLT, he said who is projecting this newspaper by who is projecting <laughs> he said give me KJV <laughs> and the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre and he sat in the tent all right. Do, go to the place where he interceded for Sodom and Gomorrah, please. Because of time. I want us to really pray here. How many of you can see that prayer is in the atmosphere? I, I need to. And he said, Oh Lord, let not the Lord be angry. And I will speak yet about this one. Paradventure stand shall be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for ten sake. Okay. Come, Minister Diola. This is prayer. Someone didn't get me. The last time you prayed, give us an example of your own prayer. Give her the microphone. Prayer is an expression of faith in God. Oh God, who is delaying me? Oh yeah, give us an, ex an example of your personal prayer time. Don't tell us what you are praying about, Gong Gong, but create something. Show us. Okay, sir. So, so many times I start with Holy Spirit, I acknowledge that you are in me. And that you are dwelling in me and that you are at work in my life. And then I just begin to thank him for his presence. And then I still start praying in the spirit. And sometimes he drops scriptures in my heart and I open them and pray with and them. You pray them. All right. Are you seeing that everything she's saying, she's the one doing it? But Abraham began to pray. He said, Lord, what if there are ten? And God replied. You didn't get it. God didn't wait till the end of Abraham's prayer. And now reply. The way we think. That after like three hours prayer, the Lord will now say, and I have heard. You and God, are you on talking terms? Look at it now. He says, I will not, for ten sake. Go to verse 33. And the Lord went his way. Can you see how they are describing the Lord? In the prayers of Abraham, it's like saying, Adiola told me she wants to destroy something. And I say, what if this will you still destroy? Reply, reply. Say no. no. Don't spoil my drama. 
can you see that abraham's prayer was like a conversation between two people talking and the lord went his way the lord went his way have you ever found out when the lord went his way in your prayer ah okay this prayer is similar to the prayer of jesus in john 17 but don't go there as soon as he has led communion with Abraham, and abraham returned unto his place now abraham began from 50. Let, let me go to where abraham said if there are 50. if you check thank you and the men turned their faces from thence and went towards sodom and abraham stood yet before the lord and abraham drew near and said will thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked asking the lord question not questioning god he says will thou is like uh, how many of you have ever prayed and said i know some preachers the only one say by him you say more lorry it's not that kind of <laughs> this is a conversation like this person i'm talking to is not imaginary the greatest disservice we have done to prayer is that we have treated god as imaginary yet he dwells in you next verse see at time he say god is not imaginary god is not some being that is far god is someone that wants to have a conversation with you this way look at what god was saying to jonah this uh, jonah was in the old testament says i know you i know you go jonah lumba so obey i know i know you are merciful i know you until god becomes this real prayer will look bony prayer is a conversation between two lovers but you must not forget that one is supreme but adventure there be 50 righteous within the city this is prayer will thou also destroy and not spare the place for 50 righteous that are daring next verse that be far from thee to do after this manner to slay the righteous with the wicked and that the righteous should be as the wicked that be far from thee shall not the judge of the earth do right and the lord said immediately If I find in Sodom 50 righteous within the city, then I will spare all the place for their sakes. Can you see the value of your righteousness? The value of your righteousness can spare a territory. But that's not. Next verse. And Abraham answered and said, Behold now, I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord. Which am but dust, O to are just. And ashes. But adventure. They shall like five of like five of the fifty without destroy the city. Where has your prayer ever been like this? Where do we put Oluwase? She, 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 she. If your husband is talking to you that way, what, what, do you understand what I'm saying? If God is truly real, then the way we will pray will be different. When I hear opening prayer of a preacher, I know whether he prays or not. When Bonke wanted to declare. His final movement in Nigeria. He said, now, Holy Spirit, I want you to come. Ah! See, at time, he said, God is not imaginary. God is real. All right? You have a need. Let's say you are believing God for an AC. Say, Lord, thank you. All right? What will I do, all right, to get this AC? And you are waiting for an answer. Oh. Did you hear what I said? Prayer. There are prayers that you are just praying in the spirit and all that. But there is something called supplication. The supplication of the new creation. All right. Is hinged on the fact that God is real to him. And is a conversation between him and God. Can someone say amen to that? Amen. So faith in God. No does not start with i believe god will do it faith in god starts with i believe god is oh see at time you say faith in god starts with i believe god is 
Hebrews 11 6 says he that will come to God must believe that he is that thank you minister Jola in a prayer moment you and God have had an interaction God is that real to the believer can somebody say amen to that this is the only way people can pray long. Mm, but let's leave the rest. Ah, there's only one thing she said or two that I will be able to touch more. If I want to repeat that message, it will be a series in uh, three weeks. You see that this prayer matter I can continue. Because when I saw Je go to John 17, let's just see John 17, the prayer of Jesus. Interesting. Ah, ah. God did they her. This was spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son may also glorify thee. And as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. All right, and this is the life eternal that they may know thee and the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Next verse I have glorified thee on earth. How does this sound? I have finished the work which thou givest me, and now, O Father, glorify thou me with thy own self, with the glory which I had with thee. <laughs> God will show himself alive to you. That encounter precedes an effective prayer life. It does. That you are not praying. See, to many believers, I can prove that God is imaginary. Oh. Let me just. She said something that I really wanted to dwell on. It was one of the things God spoke to me in my retreat. <laughs> She said, Thanksgiving is an expression of faith. Now, President Barack Obama. Okay, before I go to Barack Obama. David got before Goliath. And um, you know, boasting about the Lord delivering the lion into his hands was a form of thanksgiving. So, the technology, the pattern of remembering what God has done in the past is to enter with thanksgiving. So thanksgiving has an impact on your memory. Bible says forget not his benefits. When you say thank you for healing me in 2017, what that means is that you already remember God has healed you before. I'm going somewhere. There is almost nothing that will happen in your life. If you cannot trace something God has done in the past. I know this pattern. In fact, at times when you are praying about a matter, God himself will remind you. Because it is God's pattern of getting things done. So David got a label Hosea. David got a Ramakata Yakosita. David got before Goliath and began to recount his experience with God. He was not saying it only to Goliath. He was saying it to himself. To know that ah, ah, God will do something. All right. I think someone Barack Obama respected, maybe his father and all that, told him, took him to his white house to, to the White House when he was young and said, See, it is called White House because no black man can get there. All right. But Barack Obama contested. People were saying he was not going to, he was not going to. By the time he won. He took that same man to the White House and said, you have always been right until this point. This time you were wrong. Now that's not where I'm going. The same Barack Obama was the first black man to win the president of Harvard Law School. Something similar has happened before. It is even a principle of life that somehow, if you establish the patterns of your life, you can know the next decision to take. That, oh God, am I blessing you? Yes, sir. Look at me. You will know whether to invest. Just check patterns. David looked at Goliath and he checked the patterns of his life and said, God will surely. 
there's an assurance that comes from past patterns. And that's why a man that is given to thanksgiving will always be in faith. Write it down, everybody. The person that is given to thanksgiving will always be in faith. The person that is given to thanksgiving will always be in faith. The person that is given to thanksgiving will always be in faith. Let me tell you something. It's not impossible you have something you are doubting at the moment. Hear what I'm saying. It's not impossible you have something you are doubting at the moment. Go back home and remember what God has done in the past and declare specific thanksgiving over them. You would not have done it for three days. Faith will rise in your heart. How many of you heard me? Thanksgiving is what they asked Pastor Adeboe. I didn't understand it. They asked Pastor Adeboe. He said, what, what do you pray? How do you pray? Ah, He said, 90% of my prayer is Thanksgiving. How can, I'm coming from Redemption Camp. How can 90% of Pastor Adeboe's prayer be Thanksgiving? What happened to Lord, don't let them bomb camp? Ah, what happened to whole Lord, no calamity over any member of our CCG? They are like, yeah, we can fabricate 2,000 prayer points for him. What happened to Lord as my jet flies? Ah, yeah. Thanksgiving will reduce your fears and increase your faith. It will. And you will now realize the bulk of the things we call prayer are born out of here. See, this is a spiritual technology that if your fears reduce, your prayer points will. Adarakasakaraba. <laughs> Aramakataraba. All right. The ARC that I just finished. This is the principle. Abi, Abi, you don't know. What did I keep telling you? Come and use the microphone. What did I keep telling you? Oh. You keep say you keep saying it will never finish. As he finished. Never, sir. Why how did I arrive there? I arrived there because I was afraid. I was already saying maybe we should not have attempted the things we attempted. Ah, maybe we should not have bought the gen yet. The gen is choking us. I was already talking that way. Then God, it was like God gave me a sharp knock. Check your past. Then I saw that we have even done bigger programs. Yes. Ah! Then I said, oh Lord, do you know that as at one day to ARC, I just found out we needed almost a million that we didn't have. And the way people were submitting budget with boldness, I just smiled. Someone said, you know, the budget was released this. I said, ah, go, yeah. <laughs> it was money. And God said, watch me do it. And the Lord said to me, the Lord said to me, here. He said, any money that comes in in the flesh, that people give because they are trying to pity you, I won't use it for the conference. It will remain. What happened on... What happened to the conference finish? We're just receiving. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me. There is something God has done in the past that will fix your future. That's what we are saying. Can I declare over you? You will remember. Amen. I said you will remember. A man of God says something powerful. He said, many have sworn allegiance to ministry, but only men of prayer will fulfill it. Let me go to one more thing she said. And I will close. I'm just reiterating what she said. I, I didn't preach. She said, one of the ways you know you are eating the right bodies in prayer is that instructions are coming. Listen, if I pray for long and God didn't speak, I will ask him, what should I pray? Is a prayer I've prayed today. 
is what I've asked God today. This year, say, say, Lord, what kind of prayer do you want me to pray? Because I know it doesn't take God time to respond when it's important to Him. And He told me what to do as we were singing. As we were singing today, God told me what to do. So, you understand that prayer is a conversation and God will have to respond. If He is not responding, all right? You need to calm down and ask the right questions. Lord, is there something you want me to be doing now? And it will speak to your heart. C can we thank God for that word we heard today? All right? And it can be you next time. So just start preparing without me telling you. Even if you are online. <laughs> we can play your video. <laughs> Thank God for the word of God that has come to us. Please be upstanding even as we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Now, I want you to hold just one person even as we thank God. Just one person. Nobody should miss what is about to happen. It won't be long. Just one person. Hold just one person. You will pray loud in tongues. Those of you online partake. And this is what will happen. You will remember. Can, can you hear me? You will remember as you pray. Whatever God reminds you of that he has done in your life in the past. Alright? Make sure you get your writing materials and write it down. This is a very strong prophetic instruction. Now begin to pray. Remember the instruction is pray loud. Kokakakarabarabasata. brother. This is how you pray loud. Pray loud. It can be louder. Please, don't let tiredness in your body rob you. Don't let tiredness in your body rob you. Don't let tiredness in... If you can pray, you will remember. Karaba Sokoto Ruba. If you can pray, you will remember. If you can pray, you will remember. Shekete de bakata brada badege de broro. Maka pradi zakata la brada bako shekete de badaha. I thought this matter is serious to you. If you can really pray, you will remember. Play well, Abraham. Maka parabako shekete de bedege de bedege de bedege de bedege de bedege de bedege. You keep praying. Obataku Leroloye. You keep praying. I'm just helping you. Alabataku le sheguni. I'm stirring the atmosphere so that we can extend the process. Ijoba redumo wa ye ye u. Makaraba satoko de bokosike. Ma joba lo lua. Please pray. Pray like God is real. Pray like you believe in this prayer language. Pray like you know something is happening. Some of you are remembering already the unthinkable things God did in the past. For some of you, God says he's giving you instructions. Specific instructions of what to do. Makariba se kotele brada. Ijoba redu mami ye 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 ye. Ebadebosa. It's a prophetic meeting. Oh, God is showing me something. Can it be louder? See, touch bearers pray like you have been taught. 
If you are sensitive, you will know this is Kairos. Yes, you are remembering. You are remembering. God said to the children of Israel, He said, Tell your descendants that I am He that delivered you from Pharaoh. Why? Because from that testimony will come many more testimonies. God is showing you your own patterns. God is showing you your own patterns. Come on now. Ala brada setori amaskedi aba. Area basate de brenos. Please pray. I know what I'm saying. Please pray. Ah. Kaya bakoro bose de 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 Just nod if you want me to flow as the Lord is leading me. There is something in the atmosphere that I want to write on. Pray loud! Pray louder! Makariba saile kerebas! Mairipata labakai! Come on, pray. If you pray well, you will have an encounter. Now be quiet if you can. We are still praying. Speak that which God speaks to your mouth. Just speak. Play, play, play. Give me the minstrel. Pray. Speak for it. There are actually some people here that have been doubting if God will do something particular for them. But God said he will do it. He will do it. Just trust him. He will do it. He will do it. And then he said he will begin to bring to you scenarios of how he has showed up for you. He said he will do it. He will do it. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He will do it. Shama, everybody praying tongues. I know I'm, I'm flowing as the Lord is leading. Just speak as the Lord quickens your mouth. Release yourself. Release yourself. Speak. I saw an angel stand by her and I knew that she has that assignment tonight. He says he will hold you by the hands and show you where to go. He will lead you. He will never leave you. That's the emphasis. He will never leave you or forsake you. He will show you what to do. Just trust him. He will help you. He will come true for you. Get me that anointing oil. Don't stop. Don't stop. Speak as the Lord quickens you. 
The picture that keeps coming to mind is the picture of the Holy Spirit holding someone by the hands. So it's going to lead you step by step. You will not miss it. Don't be scared. He will come true for you. You will not miss it. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. This is a reassurance to somebody that is very agitated. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. You will walk in his steps. You will not miss it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Take the microphone from her. Stand behind her. I speak as one called to father you. Face me. Enter into the fullness of your prophetic flow tonight. 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 Take it now. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Ooh, come, come. There's a second touch. There's a second touch. Thank you, Lord. Heavier than the first. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Abakata. Epakosa. Lift your hands, everyone, and pray. Lift your hands and pray. Oh, Rukoseke Baha. Give her that microphone. Give her dear lad that microphone. Speak. 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 Everybody pay attention. I'm following the Lord. And those of you online, if you focus well, the hand of God will touch you. Materi di sukepe. In the crushing. In the pressing. He's making new wine. <laughs> in the soil. Now surrender, you are breaking new ground. So I yield to you and to your careful hand. When I trust you, I don't need to understand. Make me your vessel. Make me an offering. Make me whatever you want me to be. Lord, I came here with nothing. But all you have given me. Jesus, bring you high out of me. Let the waters rise, I'll stand as the oceans roar. Let the earth shake beneath me, let the mountains fall. Your God of the storm, and I am yours. Your God of the storm, and I am yours. Your God of the storm. He's God of our the storm. He's God of our the storm. He's God of our the storm. And you are He. He will not let you fall. He will not let you fall. He is never weary. Oh, He will not let you fall. He will not let you fall. He will not let you fall. He's never weary. Oh, he will not let you fall. Lord God, to your day, oh, look back. I hear me little. Lord God, to your day, oh, look back. God is coming suddenly and he's turning situations around for your good. What you thought had no solution, God said he has a solution. God said he has a solution. Just look unto Jesus. Look and leave my brother, leave. Look to Jesus now and leave. It's recorded in his word, hallelujah. It is only that you lose. Stand 
Stay. She's not done. She's not done. She's not done. There's a new wave of glory over you. There's a new wave. A new wave of glory. And you will see it. For the Lord says to tell you, I make all things new. Behold, I make all things new. Behold, I make all things new. Akaya matandre nesite. For you, it is the feast of trumpets. The end of an era and the beginning of a new. The end of an era and the beginning of a new. The end of an era and the beginning of a new. It is the feast of trumpets. I hear trumpets and you two are going to start hearing it. You are hearing it. I hear trumpets. I hear trumpets. Akaribosa. For it is the feast of trumpets. The end of an era and the beginning of a new. Now in this fresh anointing, prophesy. Flow as the Lord leads you. Soon and yes, God on Soon and yes, my time a corner. Soon and yes, Nasarana. Soon and yes, me take in the presence of my Father. I will sing hallelujah. God said, just like Moses parted the Red Sea, he's doing the same with you. You're doing the impossible. You can do it. You can do the impossible. You can do the impossible. You can do the impossible. See no wall. See no wall. Even if you see a wall, walk through it because he's holding your hand. If you see a wall, kick it and move on. Because the Holy God is moving with you. Move with aggression. Because the Holy Ghost is on your inside. Take no one. Don't take no one. Don't take no one. Don't take no for an answer. When God has said it, He will do it. So don't take no for an answer. <laughs> Moses didn't take no for an answer. <laughs> and he pointed the rod at the Red Sea and it parted. If God could do it in those days, why can't He do it now? He would do much more. He would do much more if only you will let Him. Let him move. Ah, yeah. Let him move. There's a wave of glory all let over here. Move. Lift your let hands, him everyone. Let move. Let him move. Let him move. He wants to move. He's brooding over every darkness. He's causing the light to shine from darkness. That layer of darkness is removed because Thank the Holy you, Ghost is in position. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yahweh The Lord of hosts is there, so fear not. The Lord of hosts is here, so fear not. Fear not what man may do to you. Hey, Rabashi Kateya Haya. He's round about you. Hey, Yakos Yanda Labaye. Open your eyes and see the chariots of fire around you. Kereboshata Balia Tekaya. Hey! For he that is in you is greater than he that is in the Pastor, world. So let me they come. Yahweh Sabao Can we sing that song? Give him the microphone. Yahweh Sabao Yahweh Sabao Yahweh Sabao The Lord of hosts, Mr. Woodyre, come. The King, the 
King of Glory. Yahweh. Now hear this. After this series on Abraham, we move to things of the spirit. Amen. Focusing on the anointing. Prophesy. The, the, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is very heavy and the lefru silepande kos as ak anamate ak at anamante zumbre kos silepante ko vamba lego sepahate imbele dos zumbre kos silapana mahande gedos ovre ne mahande kiti vele mate silabashala mahande i begin to see a vision I see as though something is taking flight and um, I have a witness in my heart to say that in flight there are no obstacles in flight there are no boundaries you stayed on the ground for too long and you have been seen limitations you have been seen walls you have been seen boundaries you have been seen obstacle but you know what manner of spirit you are made of for he that is from above is above all take flight in the spirit rise above the obstacle so are with the wings and the power of the spirit so are we the wings and the power of the spirit <laughs> you have looked at your strength long enough but it's not going to be by my your power it is not going to be by your strength but it is by my power by my strength by my will by the will of the Holy Ghost take your eyes away from your ability take your eyes away because in looking at your ability you will see your limitation now for in God, uh, in the supernatural one, uh, there is no limitation. Uh, take flight, uh, see the spirit of God. Uh, take flight, uh, abide in him. Uh, take flight in the spirit, uh, so above limitation. Uh, because you belong uh, to the limitless one. Uh, because you carry the life, uh, the life uh, of the endless one. You carry the life uh, of the endless one. Uh, you carry the life uh, of the endless one carry the life uh, you also carry the ability to communicate this life uh, situations can see you when you rise uh, in the fullness of the consciousness of this life uh, and they will respond uh, to the utterances uh, of your mouth uh, they will uh, respond uh, to the utterances uh, of your mouth uh, for i'm placing a word uh, and a wisdom in your mouth a word and a wisdom uh, that no circumstance uh, no situation uh, no challenge uh, can gainsay they cannot have an answer for it uh, because uh, as Eno said uh, i am the way the truth and the life uh, i am the way the truth and the life uh, you carry the life uh, therefore you can always know the way at every point in time uh, confusion uh, is not in your dna confusion is not in your nature light uh, light uh, light uh, light uh, <laughs> is a default nature for you oh Shiko Fambro Salaha Amo Susi Fele Kumbra na Susi Behada Gashti Pendi Kapara Namante Ligabashka Prophesy Prophesy When you gather does any have a sound? Does any have a hymn? Does any have a prophecy? This is scriptural. Flow, son, flow. The Lord says to tell someone, Why do you think 
you're all alone? Why do you think you're all alone? Have you forgotten how you danced through the situation before? Have you forgotten how I led you, how I held your hand and you danced through the situation before? Why do you think you are all alone now? For I am with you, I am holding you by the hand. And I want you to dance through this also. I want you to give me praise and dance through this. This is how you will go through to the other side. I want you to dance through this. You are not alone. You are not alone. I am well aware. I am well with you. I am mm. with you all the way and I want you to dance through this. Mm. I want you to dance through this. You are not responsible for yourself. I'm responsible for you and I want you to look unto me. 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 I want you to dance through this. Dance through this. For this is how you will see my victory. 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 Why do you think you are all alone? Why do you think you are all alone? You are not alone. You are not alone. I will take care of you. I will take care of you. And even this situation that you feel is impossible. Can you give me praise over your God? Can you just Kaparama, dance? Kaparabaka. Just dance. Just dance. And see the victory that I have prepared for you on the other side. I am with you. The Lord says to say, I am with you and I am holding you by your hand. I will not leave you or forsake you. Lift your hands and worship Jesus. Lift your hands and worship Jesus. Arabaha. There is a laughter. There is a song. Debbie, there's a new song coming. Come, come sing it. There's a new song. You can go to your seat. There's a new song and there's a laughter. There's a new song. There's a new song. Sing it. Are you ready, Abraham? Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues to flow. There's a song. Oh, there's a song. There's a song. There's a song. <laughs> Eh, abahali na la nenia sibi. Uh, ala kumetsi miata la mer. Ala kuveni tiki ki na kale ni miana tu lebe la kome lebe la kal. Eri ma tu sundera. Flows out the spirit. Eri ma sundera piki ki ne la kale la batira. And rejoicing, era la vidi di dia, e makule maleli akasi mati, e rururu ya da de, era la ha ha, era kumi di na ba telima, blows up the spirit, era kumi ati ba banera. Aramakaya bashandi de de bus. Eni e de de bus. Aramakata la ba de de de. Oh, 
That microphone from her and God will give you songs in the night oh thank you Jesus new songs will flow from you the anointing of a psalmist is resting on you where is that oil the anointing of a psalmist the ademe kapadamai the anointing of a psalmist arama katarabaha does it does it does it does it take it now I see light everywhere. I see the move of the spirit. I see light everywhere by the spirit. Understanding by the spirit that we may walk so circumspectly. Understanding by the spirit I see and we move by your word we walk and live by your spirit can you just sing in tongues i will live here now or let me come understanding by the spirit aramakaya reward for your labors enter into a season of unending reward for every honor every service every labor every giving take double that we may walk so circumspectly understanding by the spirit i see just sing in the spirit we'll be flowing in the things of the spirit more in this season we are entering the things of the spirit series soon. In the lekaye luke paribosi, ere bakaya la brada kaye le, ele le 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 ya, ero go boko teri de de boko to, ire beke to re basoto robo. Jesus, we are ready. Are we a generation telling God we are ready? Jesus, we are ready. Do to us what you want. Do with us what you want. We are a ready people for the things of the Spirit, for the move of the Spirit, for the flows of the Spirit. What a time we just entered. What a time we just entered. One of the things the Lord said to me in my retreat, He says, Say not that flows of the Spirit is immature. He said, don't come into that situation that you will think flows of the spirit is not mature. He said, I have raised you so that it will not die. So we will give room to the things of the spirit. It is the destiny of every touch bearer to walk in the things of the spirit. 
to prophesy with ease to minister healing with ease to minister the miraculous with ease that's the season we are in Toby come take my hand come 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 you need to stand behind her the anointing is heavy the anointing is heavy don't leave her 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 wave wave to the Lord everyone here Mama, speak. Don't leave us still. Because the angel that is walking has not left her. It will look like there's a rumbling in her, in her stomach. There's a rumbling. The Lord said, that which the doctor said, I have killed it. Hear me. Hear me. There's a new report. If you have any medical report under the sound of my voice, I announce your healing. 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 Sir, some things just came into, they just came together for me in a quick vision. My mommy was speaking about the hundred folds. Recently, I've just been seeing services where there were outbreaks of miracles, atmosphere of miracles, the things of the spirit in full expression. And uh, I've been seeing it for a while now. I'm just, I've just been praying. I've just been waiting on the Lord to see when he would bring it to pass. He said that is what is bringing in the hundredfold. He said that is what is ushering in the multitude, sir everywhere the miraculous the things of the spirit in full expression sir God. <laughs> we just entered a beautiful season i'm telling you i know i know <laughs> i know laugh 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 come on laugh come on come on laugh I said it prophetically because that's the anointing that is here. Come on, laugh. That's it. That's it. Come on, laugh. Ha, 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 ha. Someone is taking it online. Come on, laugh. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, come take it. Come take it. Come take it. Darabakatare haya. Joy. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 You want some? You want some? You want some? <laughs> oh, that's it, that's it. <laughs> uh-huh. That's the Holy Ghost on you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Whew. Take some. Take some. Take some. Take some. Take some. You're taking it online. <laughs> You're taking it online. You want it? <laughs> you want it? Arakate <laughs> kri. Uh, does it? Does it? Whew. We need to close. Come take some. Don't just stay by the camera. Arabasondo. This has the capacity to get you intoxicated. It's not one by one. Help him. It does it. Does it. Does it. It's not one by one. Bring him. Bring him. Bring him. Come take one more shot. Take one more shot. Those of you online, take it now. Whew. Take one more shot. Your journey is far. Take one more shot. That's it. That's it. Ooh, ooh. We, 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 we have to close you want it you want it it's going to be so heavy on you you want it take it that's the shot that's the shot that's the shot <laughs> it's so heavy on him it's so heavy that's the shot that's it that's it ah <laughs> 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 
Ah, uh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Help her, help her. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Kotala beria kata. Araba karibo shate. Somebody online, you are feeling like an electric shock all through your body. I see you. Tears are dropping down your eyes. That's the anointing of the Holy Ghost eating you there. Abakusa emi mi mo wajoba. Washe ije iyanu. Nino aye mi o people's hands are burning like fire here. People's hands are burning like fire here. I see it. I see it. The angel that is walking here is showing me the signal. Help him, help him. People's hands are burning like fire. E kapara pasata. Washe ise yanu. Nino aye mi o. All right, you can give your offerings in the name of Jesus. I invite the next person. Can we give God praise for the word that we have heard this evening? Can we thank God for such an outpouring? Can we thank God for such impartation? Can we thank God for ushering us with so much grace into a new level, into a new season? Can we just say, Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Father, for what you have started with us. Thank you, Jesus. We are, we are grateful. We are grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Can we say, Father, thank you for Pastor Emmanuel Olani Peku and Pastor Teji Olani Peku. Father, we thank you. Thank you for such graces upon us. Thank you for such a spiritual family. Thank you for such home. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. We are privileged to be in this commission. We are privileged to be in this mandate. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for such grace. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you because it's getting better and better. Thank you because we are, we are experiencing more. This is just the beginning in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You're welcome to Touch Bearers Ministries International. Hallelujah. Touch Bearers Ministries International. Same grace everywhere. We know that what we have received has gone everywhere to all our centers. Praise God. 2024 is also our year of the goodness of God. Can we celebrate our online community? We love you. We celebrate you. We know that you have also received of this great impartation. And we know that your life will never remain the same again. We are a family commissioned to raise a people who are conscious of prophecy and their part in it. A generation that understands the times and works accordingly to the teaching of God's word, prophetic inclination and demonstrations of power. We believe in the Lordship of Jesus, the operations of the Holy Spirit to reveal Jesus, the authority of the scripture, the Holy Communion, tithing, and that prayer is God's tool to change situations. Praise God. Praise God. We are a people of honor and as such, can we all rise to our feet? Can we all rise to our feet as we celebrate our amazing, dearly beloved father and mother and the Lord, Pastor Emmanuel and Pastor Teji Olani Pekun. Can we say, Father, um, can we say, Daddy and Mommy, we love you? We celebrate you. Hallelujah. Celebrate yourself as you have your seeds. On Sundays, we have our worship service by 9 a.m. And on Tuesdays, we have our international Bible study by 6 p.m. here at the Touch Place, Tapshaw Building, number 72, Isheri Road, or Mole Phase 1, Lagos. Bible study is not something you should miss. If you can make it physically, please do. And also Sunday services too. If you can make it physically, please do. And if not, make sure you join online. And don't join alone. Invite someone. Spread the link. Make it a date with the miracle working power of God by connecting to Prophetic Push every Monday to Saturday at 6.30 a.m. via the Mixella platform. It's always a prophetic mountain of unusual miracles. Don't connect alone. Invite others. Make it a date with God as we invest prayers in our future and that of our children by connecting to my seed and I every Friday by 9 p.m. on Google Meet. This is a meeting for, mo for mothers to be, pregnant women, nursing mothers, and all young and aspiring mothers. Hallelujah. All touchbearers in all centers are to disciple one person to come to church and stay. 
let's be intentional with discipleship can you turn to your neighbor and ask where is your disciple hallelujah this is also a reminder that we will be having a community outreach very soon and so if you have any you know good items clothes shoes bags food food items in good condition kindly bring them to church um you can hand them over to pastor peace or send a message to her if you'd like to find a way to send it down to her on 0816837 this is also a call to our church bearers to sponsor someone's transportation to church. If you'd like to give a token regularly to support the transportation unit and our members coming from far distances, please see me after the service or send a message to Pastor Peace on 0816-837-4944. Church Bearer School of Ministry. The advanced class is now open for admission. SOM with Pastor Emmanuel Olani Pekun is a full ministry course. The basic course is an introduction to ministry while the advanced is a deeper dive with a fuller curriculum where things you would most likely not hear on Sundays will be taught. Your eyes will be opened. This course is for you if you have done SOM basic or if you are running an active ministry. Don't wait till next year to register. Please register now for SOM advanced. Praise God. Our building project is still on towards the Banner Church building. Um, if uh, as, our, as our leaders and pastors reach out to us, every church bearer and everyone who has been blessed by our Father and the Lord and this ministry is implored to participate in this. Let us keep giving. Church Bearers UK is here. Do you live in the UK? Do you have family or friends living there? The arms of the UK community are wide open to receive you. To join the UK community physically, to connect a loved one or friend, or to get updates, kindly see me after the service or send a message to Pastor Peace on 0816-837-4944. Kindly see me to add you to the church WhatsApp page if you're not on it already to get information, weekly schedules, and reminders so as to be up to date. Are you led or do you desire to be a son or daughter in the house? Please see me after the service or send a message to Pastor Peace on 0816-837-4944. Praise God. Partnership with Emmanuel Olani Peku Ministries International is open to all members. If you'd like to partner with the ministry of our Father and the Lord, kindly see me after the service or send a message to Pastor Peace on 816 4944. Connect with our spiritual father, Pastor Emmanuel Olani Peku, for mentorship with weekly meetings as follows. On Mondays, we have our mentorship Bible teaching by 9.30 p.m. on Google Meet. On Saturdays, we have our charge of prayers by 9.30 p.m. on Telegram. You can also connect with us online. To join our online community, please visit all our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube for edifying content. And do well to share with others as well so that they will be blessed. During our grandma's ministration at ARC, she called for a sacrificial seed. This is to remind everyone who pledged to this to redeem their pledges. God will put seed in our hands in Jesus' name. The word of transformation has come to us today with so much weight. Listen again and meditate on it all through the week to enjoy the fullness of this transformation. Praise God. Can we all rise to our feet as we welcome our Father and the Lord to close the service? Hallelujah. Were you blessed? Glory to God for such a time in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, let's close this amazing service with our confession and with rejoice. Am I missing any announcement? All right, in the absence of missing any announcement, we are Touch Bearers Nation. Can you celebrate about the church people, Oshobo church people? The United Kingdom. All right. Amazing, amazing people. All right. We are Touch Bearers Nation. Uh -uh. We are Touch Bearers Nation. Hey. We take everywhere. Okay. We feel everywhere. We are rich. Influential. Spiritual. LD. And very intelligent. We are kings and queens unto our God. Come on. We reign in life by Christ Jesus. Woo. What do we do?